Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, big hello, my name is Christine and I am really enjoying making videos and sharing them with you all. So today's video is an Aldi and Little haul. It's not the biggest haul, um, but I feel like I've got some nice bits to show you. Most of the items are like store cupboard items. Um, didn't get a lot of like fresh stuff because I've actually had a HelloFresh box delivered today, which I'm really excited to um, try. I've never had it before. So that will be coming in the next probably video or the one after that. So yeah, I'm really happy with the bits that I did pick up. So I'm gonna get straight on with the video and show you. Okay, so we'll start with Aldi first. And I picked up three of these um, purees. So I got two garlic and then I got a chili puree. And these are really, really good. I'm trying to think of how much these were. I think there was something like 69 pence each, I want to say 59 pence each, something like that. And this is great for quickness. So the garlic's pureed and you just squeeze it into your recipes, which is fantastic. Saves you like trying to get the skin off the garlic and you know, oh, nightmare. So I absolutely love this. So I got three of them. And then the next item that I got, is this Bake at Home, ooh, Bake at Home Plain Chia Batter. This is quite large, uh, it's 300 grams, and what I like to do, I like to split that in half, and I do my own garlic bread, using butter, parsley, and this garlic puree, and it makes the most fantastic um, garlic bread. So, got that, and again, I don't know the, <clears throat> excuse me everybody, I don't know the exact Price, but I know it was under a pound. Okay, so the next item is this shake and bag, and this is Mediterranean chicken, and this is so good. You know, if you've got like chicken thighs or chicken breasts, you just stick it all in, and you get the bag inside, so you stick it all in the bag. You can put mushrooms, peppers, onions, whatever you want in there, and then you add the seasoning, pop it in the oven for like half an hour, so so nice and I tend to do this with like sweet potato fries um, or like some nice rice really really nice dead quick dead simple um, and the kids enjoy that as well it's Mediterranean chicken but it's not um, spicy or anything like that and then the next item I got is two packets of basmati rice so I do normally just buy dried basmati rice and make it up myself, but I seen this and thought this would come in handy for you know for quickness. It's ready in two minutes. You just microwave this, and I don't know the exact price again, under a pound. So really good. So I've got to pick them up, and then the next couple of items from Aldi are chocolate. So who doesn't love chocolate? So I picked up this Easter egg hunt kit. So that is it there. And you get 25 eggs inside and also a giant golden egg. So if I just open this up and show you what it looks like. So you get lots of different colored eggs in there. They're all gonna tip out on the, no they haven't. So you get a large golden one and then lots of small little ones. Perfect for an Easter egg hunt. And this was only £2.49, which I thought was really good. So I got that. And I like to get my Easter eggs and chocolates and everything in early because I think it was last year, the year before, I left it right until the last minute and there was just hardly anything left on the shelves. So I'm gonna be extra prepared this year okay so the next items that i got are these gorgeous little chick chocolate and what these actually are so they're milk hot chocolate mug melts bit of a mouthful and it shows you a picture there so you get your um mug or your big cup of hot milk you pop the little chick into the cup or mug 
and then you just stir it around until it's all melted and you've got your own little hot chocolates. So I thought that these were adorable. I'm going to be putting these in my um, kids' Easter baskets and these were £1.99 each. And I thought it was something different rather than just all, you know, chocolate eggs. Um, little activity for them to do, make their own hot chocolate. And then the next item, or the last item actually from Aldi, is these milk chocolate chicks. How cute are them? And these were £1.99. And I know exactly what I'm going to do with these because I've got some plastic eggs that I picked up from Poundland. Um, you just, you know, you can take them apart. I'm going to pop some of these in and we're going to do an Easter egg hunt in the garden. So, yeah, pick, pick that up. I've just dropped one of my chocolate chicks. Let's have a look. Oh! Thought it would have been broken and it hasn't right okay so I'm gonna get on with um, the items that I picked up from little so little is somewhere that I don't often shop in I tend to stick with Aldi um, but I popped in there the other day I was actually at work and I had an hour's break in between um, doing my um, my work so I decided to go and get a coffee from Starbucks and then I popped into Lidl. Okay, so I'll show you what I got from there. Again, most of them are like store cupboard products because um, like I say, I've had my HelloFresh box delivered. So I'm all sorted for like the next five days. But um, I'm off through the day at the moment um, and I'm currently like working evenings and weekends so through the day I picked up some like little bits so that I can make myself some dinner when I'm just in the house okay so I picked up this um, sun-dried tomato stirring pasta sauce so this is interesting because I normally buy the sun-dried tomato in jars and I have to like blitz them in the food processor and what I like to do I like to just add it to my pastas with a little bit of parmesan cheese um, but this is already kind of blitzed I guess for you so I'm looking forward to trying that and I think this was something like 79 pence I then picked up um, a tin of chopped tomatoes can I go wrong with tomatoes this is the one with basil in it and I'm sure this was like 30 or 40 pence I then picked up this carbonara Italian pasta sauce. I've never seen this before. And um, I normally make my own carbonara. The kids absolutely love carbonara. I tend to make it for like the family of us four. Um, but what I was thinking was, um, sometimes if I'm making like stir fries, prawn stir fries, or you know stir fries with salmon, the kids won't eat that. So I thought I would tr get this and um, this would come in handy if I have to make them a different meal to what I'm having. If that is the case, I normally do them like a bit pasta, some chicken, um, and they absolutely both love carbonara. So I picked that up and this was only 79 pence, which I thought was amazing. Um, yep, so I got that. And then I picked up some tomato puree. Again, I think this is something like 39 pence, which is fabulous. So I've got that. And then I picked up some um, mini wheat and white tortilla wraps. And I got these for my daughter's pet lunch. So because she's back at school, so she loves having chicken wraps. So I picked them up. And I also picked up a packet of the Tikka chicken breast slices. These were something like £1.79. And you get quite a bit of chicken in there. You get um, 180 grams and you can enjoy this hot or cold. And this is what I like to put in the wraps for Grace for her pat lunch. So really, really tasty, really nice. Then I picked up this Easter pasta tricolour. How cute is that? So I don't know how well you can see, but there's like little bunnies, little Easter eggs in there. So I actually got the Christmas one of this um, just before Christmas and it was like 
Christmas trees and presents and the kids really like it um, because it's just colourful isn't it when you cook it rather than just having the plain kind of yellow pasta. It looked really pretty and this is great for like when you're making bolognese's, um, like I say um, carbonara, anything like that. So this is adorable. Little chicks, bunnies and eggs and this was like a pound which is amazing because it's such a large pack there's 500 grams in there so i thought that that was great and then i also picked up ooh, two seconds everyone okay so again from little i also picked up the spaghetti tricolor i've never ever seen this so when i seen it i thought it was really funky and fun looking and again it just just gonna brighten up the um, meals so I'll probably use this when I do my bolognese so you've got the red the green and the, the beige pasta in there and again this was a pound and you get 500 grams in here so I thought that that was really good and then I picked up this tomato sauce with basil so it's the same range, um, Italian Amo, Italiano, the same as the spaghetti. And do you know what? I don't know the exact price of this, but I know it was under a pound. Um, so this is a really large jar. It's actually um, 700 grams in there. And again, I tend to, to um, make all of my bolognese from scratch. And um, the kids don't really like it when I buy like the Dolomio sauces or anything like that. So I've started just doing my own. And I use like tomato puree, either chopped tomatoes or this kind of thing. And then I just add all my own herbs. Um, I also add a little bit of Worcester sauce, a little bit of beef stock and it makes the most loveliest bolognese. So I picked that up. And then I picked up some French brie. Absolutely love brie. And um, this was something like 79 pence, which is amazing. So you get um, 200 grams. It tells you the strength on it, which is good because I don't like my brie to be too strong. So I prefer like strength one or two. Um, I did get one once, I didn't realise, and it was strength five, and it was like, whew, too cheesy. So I really love this one. And what I like to do with my brie, I either have this, sometimes I just obviously chop it up into little um, slices, and I'll have it with some um, bruschetta and some chutney, or a cheese board, but also what I like to do with this, sometimes I cut it into like triangles, and I actually cover it with some breadcrumbs, a little bit of egg, um, cover it in a bit of egg, and then some breadcrumbs, and I put this in the oven, and it, oh, it's just amazing. And I'll have it with like a little bit of salad and some jam, and honestly, it is so nice. So I got that. And then I picked up again the same make, this um, egg pasta with um, ham. So that looks really interesting and again I love pasta and I'll probably um, I'll probably have this for my dinner um, through the day. So you get 250 grams in here and um, it doesn't take long to cook. I think you just add this to boiling water for a few minutes and it's really really tasty. I'll add some parmesan cheese to the top. So I think this was shout was under a pound yeah so I got that and then I got some items from the middle section from little um, I only got three items so I picked up the Mrs Hinge activity journal so every time I go in Aldi or little I've seen this and um, yeah I decided to get it and I think this was 6 99 so I've, I've got a diary but I've never had a journal before um, and it's got lots of different activities inside for you to do. Um, let's have a little look. So it's got like um, Sudoku in there. It's got reasons to be grateful. Um, there's also like 
colouring in pages for you to do. Um, and then there's my journal. So it says the date, three things I'm proud I accomplished this week. What was the best day of the week and why? What was the most challenging? Um, which is good. And then it's also got goals. So you can put all of your goals in there. Um, it's also got, um, where is it? So it's got my weekly hinge list. So this is where you would write down like what you're planning on doing that day and it just helps to keep you um, organized and when you've planned. And then obviously you could put like, I don't know, Hoover's sitting room, you know, whatever it is. And then you've got a little ticky chart where you can tick it off to say that you've done it. So um, yeah, I thought that this was interesting. It's got um, my, fav my favorite day. Like I say, the crosswords, um, lots of different activities in there for you to do. Um, and I like this one, plan your me time. So this is saying, um, you know, plan your evening. And it's got lots of different things here. So it says wax melts, candles, pillow spray, fake tan, face masks. And it gives you like a list of things, which I think is really, really good. So yeah, I'm quite excited with this. You've also got a bucket list, um, word searches. So I think that this is really interesting. And it's a really thick journal and a good price for $6.99 for what you're getting. So I thought that this would be really good to um, plan my my videos for my channel and to also, um, you know, just set my own goals. So yeah, pick that up. Okay, then the next item that I picked up is this gorgeous glass, um, I don't even know what this is. It's like a flan, a flan glass tray, not a tray, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so this is 27 centimeters. Um, it's 1.3 liter and then it also says um, it can be heated up to 300 um, sorry Fahrenheit 300 Celsius it's got a 10 year guarantee it's made in France and yeah it's just glass so this is it has multi usages and um, it can actually be put in the fridge the freezer um, it can go in the microwave, the oven, it's dishwasher safe. Um, yeah, so it's 27 centimeters, 10.7 inches. And um, I wonder if I could take the label off just to show you. So this has just come in, you know when they have like Sunday, they renew their middle section at every Sunday. So this had just come in today and this was only £3.99 which is really, really good. And I desperately needed like a new um, quiche flan kind of tray. Okay, let's have a look. So that is it there. And I just think that that is really, really classy looking, really nice. I love the edging around there. So I'm currently using like a cake tin, like a 10 inch cake cake tin to do my quiches so when I seen this I was like perfect and um, yeah I also think in the summer this will be nice to do like it shows you a picture of like an apple pie there so bargain at 3 99 you could actually also get the glass loaf tin which I imagine would be £3.99 as well and then you could also pick up it was like a glass bowl with like a plastic lid on the top quite a decent size bowl as well um, but yeah I just loved this so I got that and then the last item that I picked up from Lidl is this um, laundry basket now this is a really good size if I just show you like obviously compared to my head like this is really and um, the diameter of this is like it's really really good size um, so this is by Aquapur it's a laundry hamper lightweight and durable um, it's a 50 litre I think it says let's have a little look it's got two carry handles 
It's made from hard wearing woven plastic with a sturdy bamboo frame. Um, the dimensions are 47 by 45 centimeters. Load capability is 25 kilograms and then capability of 50, 50 um, liters. Okay, so this is so gorgeous. I don't know how well you can see that on there. It's such good quality and it's just like a woven design and again with the bamboo um, around the top, the bamboo rim. Like honestly, the camera's not doing this any justice but it is such a beautiful laundry basket. And you could get this in three different colours. So I opted for the plain white but you could also get this where it was grey and white and also blue and white as well. And this was a bargain at £7.99. Just think, it is absolutely beautiful. And the reason I got this, um, <laughs> I'm actually currently using a carrier bag. Um, so what I do, I've got like a laundry basket with all my dirty clothes in, which is in my utility room. But when the clothes are done in the washing machine and I need to transfer them to the dryer. So my dryer is actually in a shed in the garden. And I just put it all in a, like a carrier bag. I've got one of them, um, you know, them bags for life. I tend to use one of them. And I'm just sick of like using these carrier bags. And they're really awkward because um, when I try to put the clothes in, the carrier bag moves and oh, it's just, so when I, when I seen this, I was like, this is just fantastic. So I'm just gonna keep this on top of a, um, a bench in my utility room. And then when the washing is done, I'm just gonna shove it in here, carry it to the summer house and pop it in. And then I'm gonna just leave that in the summer house until that washing is then dry and then transfer it back into the house. And I just think it's just gonna be so much easier. So such good quality. Um, honestly, really, really pleased with that. And like I say, £7.99 is just fantastic. Um, it looks really expensive and very classy with it just being plain white as well. Um, and it actually looks okay. Like sometimes I might get the washing out of the um, washing machine, put them in the bag, and then I just leave it on the floor in the kitchen um, while I'm pottering around and cleaning. And then I'm like, wait, I must take that to the dryer. So this actually looks okay just on the floor as well. Um, obviously better than a carrier bag anyway. So that is it everybody. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and as always, I would really appreciate it if you wanted to subscribe to my channel. Um, I am going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. So if you wanted to subscribe today, just click that little button and that would really help me out to get to my target of 500 so I can do my giveaway. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos um, and you're not sure about what I'm talking about, so I basically decided to do a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers and I had some really um, lovely feedback and comments from you and the majority of people suggested that I get something from the white company um, which I have took that on board so yeah it's definitely going to be like a gift set or you know something I'm not going to give too much away but it's going to be something really luxurious and lovely from the white company so yeah that would really help me out if you wanted to subscribe and just as always thank you so much for watching and take care everyone so I'll see you all again soon so bye for now